Sometimes, transition to turbulence can cause a boundary layer to reattach. This photograph, from Van Dyck's album of fluid motion, shows streak lines over the leading edge of a body. We can see that the boundary layer separates here. Just behind that point, we have a region of reverse flow. If I sketch the velocity profile here, it will look something like this. And we see that there is an inflection point here. Although we can't quite see them in this image, small wavy oscillations will appear at that inflection point, and after they've grown to a sufficient amplitude, they will trigger turbulence that seems to happen around here. Once that happens, there is much greater momentum transfer from the free stream, and that makes the boundary layer reattach around here. And so now, instead of having a detached boundary layer over the entire surface of this body, we just have what is known as a leading edge bubble. This is very dangerous on an aircraft in flight, because this reattachment process around here is very delicate and therefore very sensitive to small changes, for example, in angle of attack. It doesn't take much for the flow not to reattach, in which case the leading edge separation bubble bursts and you lose all your lift over the wing very suddenly. That leads to stall, which is bad, but worse, it probably happens on one wing before it happens on the other, unless the plane and the flow is perfectly symmetric, and therefore you suddenly lose lift on one wing and flip the aircraft over.